Computer hardware offers massive potential, but it's also incredibly complex. In computing, the way that we deal with that complexity is through abstraction. Abstraction makes it easier for developers to produce useful applications. And it's important as a new student of programming to understand this concept, but it can be difficult to wrap your head around it. So in this video, I'm gonna provide a couple of illustrations to explain what abstraction is. First, I'm going to talk about football. So just in case you're not familiar with the rules. In the game of American football, two teams are competing to gain the most points before time Time runs out. The teams alternate between playing offense and defense. The team on offense wants to move the ball to the end zone at the end of the field, and they have four attempts or plays to move the ball at least 10 yards down the field, or else they have to turn the ball over to the defense, and then the defense gets a turn. The defense wants to stop the offense from moving the ball down the field so that they have a chance to win some points. But there's only 40 seconds in between each play or each attempt by the offense to move the ball down the field. So the coach of the offense doesn't have time to tell each person player on his team exactly what to do during the next play, but it's important for the team to have a coordinated effort in order to overcome the defense. The way that the coach solves this problem is by designing a playbook before the game full of plays or strategies, and he teaches those plays to the individual players on his team so that during game time, all that he has to do is say the name of a play and his team knows exactly what to do. In this case, the playbook is a layer of abstraction that provides the coach with a higher level interface by imposing structure on the hardware, which is like the coach's team. The team has greater potential than the potential of the playbook, meaning it can do more potentially than what the coach has designed in his plays. The playbook imposes structure by teaching each individual member on the team what to do during each play, but that makes it easier for the coach during game time to direct his team to tell them what to do so that they can actually execute an effective strategy and move the ball past the defense. Even though the playbook is more limited than the team itself, it offers sufficient efficient potential to address most scenarios that the coach is going to encounter in the game. Similarly, before a chef opens a new restaurant, he's going to design recipes for the dishes that he wants to offer to his customers and then compile those recipes into a recipe book that he gives to his staff. This recipe book provides a layer of abstraction to the chef and a high level interface that he can use to direct his staff to execute his customer's orders. During service time, instead of having to tell his staff each ingredient in each meal and how to cook each ingredient, the chef just says the name of the dish that the customer ordered and his staff knows what to do. Like the playbook, the recipe book imposes order on the chef's staff, which reduces the potential of the staff because they could potentially make things that aren't in the recipe book, but it also makes it easier for the chef to produce actual meals for his customer during service time. And hopefully the potential of the recipe book is sufficient to satisfy most of what his customers are going to want when they enter his restaurant. Like the coach's playbook and the chef's recipe book, the Python programming language provides a layer of abstraction that imposes structure on the computer's hardware and makes it easier for developers like you to actualize the potential of that hardware or to direct the hardware to perform actual useful work. Like the coach before the football game, the developers of Python have thought about every scenario that they can imagine that a developer might encounter and they've built tools for you to use. You don't have to worry about exactly how those tools are built or how they interact with the hardware because they've provided this layer of abstraction, the Python programming language, and all you need to do is know the functions and the syntax. In other words, how to interact with the interface, kind of like the coach needs to know how to call plays to his team. And if you can do that, then you can harness the computer hardware without understanding its lowest level details. Hopefully these illustrations make it a little bit easier to understand abstraction and computing. And if so, then please give the video a like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you in the next video.